And lastly, today we head north of the border. Welcome to the Great White North. I'm Bob McKenzie. This is my brother, Doug. Yes, that border. All the way to Canada, where a local conservative politician is proving that the United States isn't the only country with totally batshit crazy politicians. The Conservative Party is looking into one of its candidates over some surprising behavior. Jerry Bance, who is the Conservative candidate for Scarborough Rouge Park. The issue here is that Bance ended up on an episode of Marketplace in 2012. I'm sorry, just how scandalous can one's appearance be on a CBC production called Marketplace? What, did he forget to carry a one when he was calculating Canada's GDP? Our colleague Tom Harrington did a hidden camera investigation into the skills and ethics of home repair service companies. And when he isn't running for office, Bans owns and operates an appliance repair business. Uh, marketplace? More like bored as hell, I wish something cool would happen place. Am I right? I'm right. Bans responded to a service call at the house where Marketplace had its hidden cameras set up and those cameras caught Jerry Bans urinating in a coffee mug and then dumping the contents of that mug into a kitchen sink. He just peed in the cup. Then he rinses it and puts it back. Okay, so let's recap. This is Jerry Bantz. Jerry owns a plumbing business, and in 2012, he was caught on a nationally broadcast television show urinating in a customer's coffee cup. Yum. That's the cup I use to put my tea bag in. <laughs> Dishwasher. <laughs> so naturally, Jerry Bantz did the only sane thing someone in his situation could do. Jerry, Jerry, you just got busted on national television peeing into someone's coffee cup. What are you gonna do next? I'm gonna go into politics! Yeah, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Jerry, but I don't think being the plumber who pees into his customer's coffee cup is a very good campaign slogan. Okay. Honestly. Truth or dare. Ever done that? No. <laughs> <laughs> so naturally, someone posted Jerry's television appearance on Reddit, and naturally it went viral. So naturally, Jerry's party removed him from his parliamentary race, which naturally was followed by a boilerplate politician speak statement. I deeply regret my actions on that day. I take great pride in my work, and the footage from that day does not reflect who I am as a professional or a person. Look, Jerry, that's a nice statement and all, but I believe it was Jesus who once said, the true test of a man's character is what he does when no one is watching. What's that? That was John Wooden? Eh, Jesus, John Wooden. <laughs> What's the difference? And of course, the Canadian Liberals had a field day with this one, proving once again that Canadian humor, much like Canada itself, is just kind of weird and strange and filled with lots of awkward silences. There has been a lot of criminal activity and noted on the part of Conservatives, but I guess that this was uh, one mugshot that Canadians weren't expecting from the Conservatives. I think that was like the worst show we ever No. Did. Once again, I'm Mike Rylander. Thanks for watching. You can watch all of our episodes at SoThatHappened.tv. You can like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. And you can drink my pee, which is in your coffee cup. I'm going into politics. <laughs>